It was food that brought us together and allowed us to share our language, our culture, our history, our laws, our protocols. By going back to the land, we actually feel better. If we know we are what we eat and we grow what we eat, then we're going to be much more healthier, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. The Indigenous Advisory Council on Agriculture and Food was formed out of a recognition by the Ministry of Agriculture and Food that there was a need for more dialogue on reconciliation within the food and agriculture sector. Supporting Indigenous participation in the agriculture and food sector and strengthening Indigenous food systems is a top priority for the Ministry of Agriculture and Food and is an important component of reconciliation and the implementation of the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples Act in British Columbia. We live in a day and age where consent means a lot in BC. We're looking to be able to uh, bring consent to the table in, in the agriculture sector. The Ministry uses ICAF input to help design new programs to better align with the priorities of Indigenous people with respect to food and agriculture. To have Indigenous voices at the table with government and to advocate for this hopeful future that I have, I think is really powerful. We want to be heard, and we just need the opportunity and the space to be heard. And so um, this makes me very, very hopeful for the future. When I was growing up, there was gardens that were active in the community. There was a lot of forage production. Over time, for a lot of different reasons, participation within uh, agriculture in the community has significantly dropped off. For us as a nation that historically did come from farming and gathering and fishing and hunting, we have definitely not been able to practice our agricultural for quite some time. We're just finding our way again uh, and connecting our our language, our culture, our youth, our elders, the land, the soil, the water. It's not something that you can just articulate into words. It's a feeling that you feel when you're at peace, that everything is connected at some point. An Indigenous food system is about being self-determining again. So when it comes to the inherent right of Indigenous people, we want to raise our own meats, fruits and vegetables. Food sovereignty is making sure that we have food for the future for not just ourselves, but for our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, our great-great-grandchildren. British Columbia is making its Indigenous people feel like it's part of the community. It's hard to believe that one committee could make a difference, but it really is. And as a result, those changes are starting to occur as we see investments in Indigenous communities across British Columbia. And when an Indigenous community thrives, so does a region. We are an important part of British Columbia's economy, and more importantly, our collective future.